Hi and welcome to C Sharp Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the chart element and also how to generate random numbers. So let's get coding and we're going to start a new project in Visual Studio. So we're going to create a new project. It's going to be a Windows Forms app in the .NET framework. So in my recents, I've already search for it and this is going to be our graph and random oops random numbers okay and i'm going to save this onto my documents under visual studio projects i'm going to select this folder and I'm going to create this project and then visual studio will open great so from the start we know this is our form we know our toolbox and our properties so what we will do is i will take a button component and i'm going to place this um, button element if you may and i'm going to say display random random and that's going to be my text on the button. So when the user actually clicks on this button, it will display random numbers. So how do will I display this random number? I'm going to display this random number by using a chart component. So if you go down, if you look in your toolbox and you go to data, you will see there's a chart element and what you can do is you can take this chart element and you can go and draw it so this is our chart element so charts normally have a x-axis and a y-axis and we've got also different series so you can add multiple series um, into this chart so all the blue bars will be um, series one and if you add another series it's going to be a certain color color what you can also do is you can also change this type of graph you can change it to a line chart you can change it to a pie chart and so forth so look let's look at the chart component chart component and quickly check how would we go about changing some of those components so let's go from top to bottom there's actually quite a few interesting components. Here is a palette. You can change the color. Um, there's some appearance, behavior, then annotations, chart areas, legends, series, and titles. Um, let's click on series. What this will do is it will show you all the series. Um, you can add another series. You can also go and um, set, let's say for instance, if this is a line chart or a column or a stacked bar, um, you can choose, there's quite a few um, charts, charts to select from. Great, so this is your series collection editor. You can do it manually or you can do it in coding. So you can play around with the properties of this chart. So what we will do is when the user double click or clicks on the button. So how we do this is we select the button and we double click on this button and we create a button one click event. So what we will do in this um, function, the button one click event function, we will create random numbers. And how do we create random numbers? So in um, C Sharp, we've got a random um, type. So random is a data type that we can use to generate. Um, or it's not necessarily a data type, but it's a, um, a type. So for instance, I think, I believe that random, you can call a class and it's class random. And we're going to create an object of that. And then we're going to create a new random value for 
RDN. But RDN is not a random value per se. It's now just an object of type random. And I will show you how we will generate random numbers. So what we will do is I've created now a object of type random. And then we will say that the chart, oops, the chart, and we've got chart one, and we will add a series. And this series we will call um, demo. Let's call it demo. And what we will say is points dot clear. And what this will do is we will clear out everything. So um, chart one dot series demo will not have any um, points. It will be clear. Great. So let's go on and we will get to um, chart one dot series dot demo. Um, let's first just do the generation of the random number. So we will use a for loop to generate five random numbers. And how we would do this is we will have a for loop with a counter variable. And we set that counter variable to zero. And we're going to say I, that counter variable is going to be smaller than five. And then increment that counter variable. So we've got a counter controlled loop um, that will run five times. So it's going to run from zero to four because five is not included. included. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five times. And what we will do in this loop is we will actually go and generate a random number. Now, let's call this, we create a another um, random number but we, we're not going to create per se a random number first we're just going to create a variable called number so decimal number and we're going to say number is equal to and we are going to generate then a random number by using the rdn object so rdn dot next and what this will do is it will create a random number for us between 0 and 10 so that's if you see this object int random dot next so random is now the type okay and dot next the function First, we specify the minimum value and then the maximum value. And then number will be our um, random number that we generated. So we're storing the random number inside the variable number. Great. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add this to the chart. And how we would do this is we're going to say chart series. And we're going to say inside the series called demo we're going to say the points and we're going to say add x y so add x y is a function to add a point in this series at point x and point y so if you look at the chart we will specify each random number one, two, three, four, five in the X axis and on the Y axis, we will actually plot the random number. So each random number, random number one will be on the X axis, random number two, X axis. So X, Y. So what we will do is we will say then that uh, we're going to say the counter variable plus one or well, what we can do is we can change this for loop to one and we can say smaller than six so now the, the for loop will count from one to six or from one to five sorry one to five and then we're going to add number so what we're effectively doing is adding a random number at x one and y 
number. So it will plot now a random number for us. So let's see what happens if we do this actually. So we're going to run our program. Let's see if it actually works. Now if I have the open um, project or application here and I press run, it will give me a problem here. So it will say a chart element with the name demo could not be found in the series collection. Okay, so what happened here is now it's an error. To stop the program, we press stop debugging. So we go back here. I'm selecting the chart and I'm going down to series. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove series one and I'm going to add a series. And this series um, is going to be called demo. Okay, so as you can see here, demo with a capital letter D E M O. So let's go and double check in the chart. If we go to series, we've got now a series called demo. So let's say, okay, let's build and run again and see what happens. Okay, so now we have now application here. And if I press display random, it's displaying random numbers to us, we assume. So this was zero to four. Okay, so that's four, four, three, eight, four. But what we can actually add as well is, if we go to common controls, we can use a rich text box. Now a rich text box is a nice little component. It's like a text box, but it's just a bigger version of the normal text box. So we can add to the text box. So what we will do is in our function, we will actually go and add. So what I will do is I'm going to say this rich text box and the name is rich text box one. And I'm going to say rich text box one dot text is equal to and then I don't want to clear out everything in this text box. So what I will say is rich text box one dot text plus now what I actually want to go and add. And I'm going to say number one. And then I'm going to add the random number that we generated. So what I will do is I will say convert convert dot to string and then inside the convert to string I'm going to send a num the number this random generated number so I'm actually displaying rich text box one dot text adding num one to it convert to string the number and what I'm going to add as well is a new line and that's it let's see what will happen now? So I'm just using this rich text box to actually go and double check that the numbers that are generated in this application is actually the number th that are displayed on the graph. So just to double check that everything works perfectly. So num one, zero, two, seven, one, and four. Yes, and it looks like it's actually working. So all that I actually also need to go and do maybe is do a quick add here because I'm displaying num1 the whole time. So I can say convert to string the counter variable. Great. And I can save this. And if I run this, I'll show you my application and I display here. One one two one five. One one two one five. Great. And there you have it. There's the demo series. We created the demo series. Um, if you can remember then I clicked on the chart. I went down to chart series and I added the demo series. And then inside the coding I generated a random um, 
object of type random, RDN is a um, object of type random, and then from this object I can say dot next and it will generate a random number for me between 0 and 10 the whole time. And there you have it. That is random numbers and the graph element in C Sharp using Windows Forms. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you soon.